Good morning, Wildcats. Today is March 9th. I'm Connor. And I'm Luigi. Welcome to World News Wednesday. Dig. The chills that you spill up my back keep me filled with satisfaction when we're done. Satisfaction of what's to come. Ukraine has deemed escape routes for civilians proposed by Russia as unacceptable due to most of them leading into Belarus and Russia. On top of that, several routes move through areas of conflict, making them mostly impractical. On March 6, a flight inbound from Alaska to Orlando landed remotely due to a tip-off of a potential threat on the flight. The threat turned out to be a prank from a 10-year-old kid who airdropped a message to a passenger, causing police to surround and search the plane. Alaska Airlines has apologized for the inconvenience. Now here's Morgan with a segment on Frida Kahlo. Hey Wildcats, in honor of Frida Kahlo and her legendary painting skills, I'm going to paint a picture of my own. And fail. Kahlo was crippled by polio as a child, her interest in art growing over time despite her not believing it as a viable career. At 18, she was hit by a bus and spent three months bedridden during that time honing her painting skills. She started gaining influential aspects of art, such as new objectivity and cubism, which found their way into her work. Her interest in politics led her to join the Mexican Communist Party, where she would find her soon-to-be husband, Diego Rivera. Kahlo's work was heavily influenced by Mexicanidad, which was based around the idea of heavy Mexican nationalism and indigenous recognition in their works. In most of her self-portraits, she would betray herself in a unique light, in which it did not romanticize or cover up her looks, but rather accentuate her flaws in a revolutionary new light. Kahlo spent most of her time traveling across Mexico and the United States painting works advocating for socialist reforms, and having an affair with former Soviet leader Leon Trotsky. On July 13, 1954, Kahlo died from conflicting sources, most considered to be the blockage of an artery in the lungs. Kahlo's husband argued it to be suicide, her mental health having crumbled in the waning days of her life. Kahlo left behind a legacy as one of, if not the greatest Mexican artists of all time, paving the way for and inspiring future artists to display their true passions to the world. So, as she intended, I'm going to reveal my art to the world. It's a self-portrait! Now back to the anchors. The Jason Beard Memorial Foundation Scholarship provides $1,000 in financial assistance to a graduating OCPS high school senior who has faced adversity in life, yet despite these challenges, plans to attend a junior community college. Technical school or a four-year university beginning the summer or fall following high school graduation, the student must have a 3.0 or higher GPA, at least 30 community service hours, and two letters of recommendation. The application requires an essay and a transcript. The deadline is Thursday, March 17, 2022. Please visit the CCC for more information. Juniors and seniors, this Sunday, March 13th, is the last day to purchase a ticket to your dripping and luxury themed prom, which will be held on Saturday, March 26th from 7 to 11 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency Grand Cypress Hotel. Tickets are on school pay for $75. To purchase a ticket, students must have no financial obligation to the school, which is any type of fine that you accrued from 9th to 12th grade. Information bringing an underclassman or a non-Winter Park student will be found on school pay. The Horatio Alger Association has a scholarship for those students enrolled full-time as a high school junior with, with a minimum 2.0 GPA and demonstrated financial need. Deadline to apply is approaching March 15th. If you are interested in participating in Winter Park High School Slam Poetry Competition, please visit Ms. Wilkes in room 288 or Ms. McCarthy in 204. For more information, there will be a mandatory meeting in room 288 on March 22nd if interested. Calling all seniors, the PTSA scholarship is available in Canvas on the student body Canvas page, on the announcements or in the CCC. The deadline is tomorrow on March 10th. Please turn in your application to Miss Moore in the Career and College Center in room 109. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a great Wednesday and go Wildcats. Oh wow. That is... Oh. In 2015, students at the University of Guelf located and brought a cattle car to campus as a part of Holocaust Education Week. It was the first exhibit of its kind created with the goal of offering an immersive experience for students to learn about the Holocaust. Over 2,000 students across campus visited the exhibit that year, and due to its unprecedented success, the program was replicated annually. The interest students expressed in the exhibit highlighted a need for greater immersive Holocaust education, and from this, 
Shadow Light was born. This exhibit took us on a 360 degree view of what it's like inside a Holocaust death train. And thanks to their efforts, we now know the story of two survivors that survived the Holocaust. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs>